a very good morning to everyone today we have a demo on the gluteal region or the muscles of the gluteal region so this bulk muscles you can see here is known as gluteus maximus so origin takes place from the gluteal surface of ilium behind the posterior gluteal line outer surface of dorsal segment of the ilium dorsal surface of sacrum and the ilium as well as from the sacrotuberous ligament the insertion takes place on the gluteal tuberosity as well as on the iliotibial tract the gluteus maximus is supplied by the inferior gluteal nerve and it is a chief extensor of the the hip joint once you will reflect this gluteus maximus muscle we have the other structure which is deep to the gluteus maximus so let's know the structure which is deep to the gluteus maximus so you can see the fan shaped muscles over here so this fan shaped muscles this one is known as the gluteus medius muscles once we will reflect the gluteus medius so the muscles which you can see here is known as gluteus minimus muscle both the gluteus medius and minimus muscles helps in abduction and medial rotation of the hip joint and it is supplied by superior gluteal nerves so you can see here this structure is known as superior gluteal nerves and the vessels which is supplying it so once this nerve will get damaged there is a condition known as trendelen work sign positive and in which if it is unilateral side there is a lurching gait bilateral side we have waddling gait movements now we have to know about uh, the key muscles of the gluteal region so let's know the triangular muscles you can see here the triangular muscles this muscle is known as the piriformis key muscles it is known as key muscles because there are some structure which is passing superior and inferior to the piriformis so we can see the structure superior to the piriformis and the structure is known as superior gluteal nerves and vessels now just below the piriformis the structure you can see here this is known as inferior gluteal nerves and vessels same how there is a nerve that is known as sciatic nerve one of the thickest nerve same how there is a nerve that is known as posterior cutaneous nerve of the the thigh now there are other structure that is known as the pin structure so i will be discussing about this pin structure in the later part of the the video just below the piriformis you can see the remaining muscles this tendon like structure is known as the tendon of obturator internus above we have the superior gamella so this is superior gamella or gamellus and just below this is known as inferior gamellus now more below if you see this muscle is known as the quadratus femoris muscle now we have the total six lateral rotator muscles of the hip joint now let's know the six lateral rotator muscles of the hip joint the very first muscle this is piriformis the first one superior gamellus inferior gamellus gamellus tendon of obturator internus same how one more muscle deep to that is known as the the obturator externus and the quadratus femoris all these six muscles helps in lateral rotation of the the hip joint now we have to know about the pin structure as i have mentioned so it is known as pin structure because it passes through the greater sciatic foramen and passes below the sacrotuberous ligament this is sacrotuberous ligament and passes through the lesser sciatic foramen so the pin structure p for the pudendal nerve then internal pudendal vessels and the last one is known as nerve to obturator internus which is supplying to superior gamellus and tendon of obturator internus so these are the structure from medial to lateral side so let's recap everything from above downwards can you see here the fan shape this is gluteus medius below this is known as gluteus minimus then we have the key muscles known as the piriformis so this is the piriformis now we have the superior gamellus so this is superior gamellus and the tendon of obturator internus this is inferior gamellus and this is known as the quadratus femoris muscles one more muscles deep deep in the deeper aspect is known as the obturator the externus muscles same how we have the superior gluteal nerves and vessels below we have the inferior gluteal nerves and vessels along with the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh this is known as the sciatic nerve and we have the pin structure that is pudendal nerve from medial to lateral aspect this is internal pudendal vessels and nerve to obturator the internus so these all are the structure which is in the deeper aspect now let's know about the nerve supply gluteus maximus supplied by inferior gluteal nerve medius and minimus supplied by superior gluteal nerve piriformis supplied by nerve to piriformis superior gamellus and tendon of obturator internus supplied by nerve to obturator internus inferior gamellus and quadratus femoris supplied by nerve to quadratus femoris thank you